Hello, people. Good day wherever you are. I hope you're on. Well, trying to make the best of the, the lockdown thing. And um, well, today I'm going to be making uh, Portuguese muffins. It's just basically bread, but uh, muffin style. Um, kind of sweet. And uh, these are the basic ingredients. So you can see the eggs, milk, yeast, flour, salt, butter, and sugar. And um, well, here we go. And okay, we've got um, a quarter cup of melted butter, three eggs cracked and ready to go, and a half teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, uh, one and a quarter cups of milk, and the yeast, which is rising just nicely, you know, uh, a bit of warm water, a pinch of sugar and yeast, and the yeast starts to do what it does. And we're about to combine everything with uh, about six or so uh, cups of flour. We might have to use a bit, we might use a bit more if the flour is uh, of the lighter type. And uh, let's, let's see in a few seconds. So to get things started, we're going to add the yeast to the bigger bowl. We'll add the sugar. the eggs and the salt and we give that a good stir to combine Then we start to add the flour. We're going to go for at least six uh, cups of flour, a cup at a time, a cup or two at a time. I don't have a mixer yet, so I'm doing this manually, which I actually enjoy. Another two cups of flour, add it. Towards the end, we add the melted butter and combine thoroughly. Now we're going to knead the dough so that the gluten can form properly as needed. And now we're going to uh, put it on the cling film for about two hours and let it let the yeast do its job and cause the dough to rise properly. We leave it alone for one and a half to two hours. We used to 
done its thing. Now the next thing is to divide it up into, you know, smaller portions so that uh, it can proof even further, you know. And um, yeah. let's get to it. First thing is to cut the dough up into about four smaller pieces. We're going to cut them into even smaller pieces. So we have about 24 pieces. So we're probably going to end up with about 24 muffins of uh, sort of like small to medium type sizes. And now we have to shape them properly and then leave them to proof for about another 30 minutes before we actually now cook them. Okay, so now we have uh, 24 muffins proofing. So leave them about for about 30 minutes. I've spread them out on um, a clean kitchen towel that I've dusted with um, flour. So, and there you go. You can see the difference after allowing the dough to proof. So it's time to actually cook them now. <laughs> We're going to be using this pan. It's a fairly sizable one. And uh, just put it on medium heat and let it come to temperature. Heat up a bit, yeah. <laughs> then we start cooking without anything in the pan, but you'll see the process shortly. And that's the first batch going in. Give it some space because it's going to expand a bit more. To make sure that the sides cook properly, I cover it so I create a bit of a steam chamber. And um, yeah, that's how we go about doing it. That's how I go about doing it.